Well, welcome back to NRM 638, Python scripting for ArcGIS applications. Spring semester 2015. This is an e-learning class at the University of Alaska Fairbanks. In this session, we're going to validate parameters. So let's make a Python toolbox. So if you go to a folder and right mouse click, make a new Python toolbox, that will have a tool in it by default. So let's edit our Python toolbox. OK, so in this session, we're going to be working with parameters. So here is where we define the parameter class. So the first thing we'll do is we'll get rid of our parameters equals none, and then we'll create a parameter. Let's call it parameter 0. And then let's give this parameter some properties. So the data type will be a long integer, the direction will be input, it'll be required, and then the name, we'll just call it integer input, and then the display name, enter an integer value, colon, and then end quote. And then instead of return parameters, we're going to return a list of any classes that we've defined. So here we define param zero. So we'll save our work and we'll test drive our Python toolbox. So refresh and then run the tool. Okay, so it says enter an integer value. So if we enter, for example, ABC, we get an error message. And that's internal validation. So enter integer value required. So basically, it will not work unless we enter an integer value because we set the data type to long integer. So for example, if we enter the long integer value 1,000 and OK, it will work. So that was internal validation. We could also do validation using a value list. So let's do that. So we'll edit our toolbox. So our parameter, we're going to filter, and the type of filter will be a value list. And then param0, control c, control v, paste, dot filter, and then the list of values that we allow the user access to. So let's give it a list of 1, 2, or 3, and then just save our work. And then we'll test drive. So once again, I refresh. And then we'll run our tool. So now we have a drop down list of 1, 2, and 3. So for example, if I enter the value 5, we get an error message. So because of this validation, the value is not in the member of our list. So the user is restricted. The user must enter a 1, a 2, or a 3. OK, the other type of validation we could do is we could restrict the user to a range of values. So let's edit our toolbox one more time. And then we change our filter.type to range. And then we give it the range of values. So what's the lowest value we're going to allow the user to enter? So we'll let the user enter a 2000 for the lower limit and a 2015 for the upper limit. So then save, and then we'll test drive this range filter. So we refresh and then test drive our tool. So now we can type in anything between 2000 and 2015. So if I type in, for example, 2016, we get an error message. So the value is out of the range. So now the user must enter an integer value between 2000 and 2015. And the user can either do that by entering the value here or by using the slider bar. So for example, I can slide it to 2010 and then OK, and our script tool works fine. OK, let's edit our toolbox one more time. And let's change our variable or our parameter to a string. And then our type 
will be value list, and then we'll give it two strings. So the first string will be projected, and our second string will be projected or geographic. And let's test drive this. So we save and then refresh, and then we'll run our tool. So now we have projected or geographic in our list. And we'll change, instead of enter integer value, we'll say enter choice. So the user will have a choice projected or geographic. And then let's copy everything up until our filter type. So we copy that. So edit, copy, and then we'll paste. And then we'll create a second parameter and we'll call it parameter one. And the name will give it um, coordinate system. And we'll call the input variable name CS for coordinate system. And for this one, the input variable name we'll call just choice. Okay, and then we'll return parameter zero, parameter one. But what we'll also do is for our second parameter, we'll set it parameter one enabled equals false. And we'll save our work. And then we'll run our script tool. So refresh and then we'll run our tool. So we pick either projected or geographic and you see our coordinate system is disabled. So what we're going to do in the next video session is interact between two parameters. So what we're going to do is we'll have it disabled until the user selects one of these two choices. And then if the user selects projected, we will allow the user to choose from several projected coordinate systems. And if the user chooses geographic, then we'll allow the user to select from several geographic coordinate systems. So that's the next video session, and that's on disabling parameters and then basically communicating between parameters.